Crimson Relive, which is yeah. It's a, sorry, it's relive. I I spoke it wrong. It's, they they <laughs> intend for you to be able to relive your gaming moments. I believe is their their catchphrase they were using. Uh, <laughs> we had a, we had a stream uh, just the other day, actually a couple hours before the stream that AMD did, where they were talking about Ryzen. Um, we had some AMD guys in in our studio here in mm-hmm. Kentucky, and uh, we did a um, little over an hour live stream with them, asked them about a bunch of software stuff related to their GPU drivers. Um, also good stuff, good improvements <laughs> taking place uh, there. Um, good to see that they're able to concentrate more on features as opposed to squashing bugs or trying to make things more compatible, right? They're moving right. on to, uh, you know, bigger and better things, basically. Um, well, that was that was one of the big things we were talking about last week. Where you know, when you look at the 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 RX four eighty now, right? It's it's they're getting gains of like seven eight percent across a lot of uh, a lot of popular titles, maybe four to eight. Um, but that's bringing it in in sort of you know bringing it up to where we're seeing comparably priced uh, 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 Nvidia parts. Um, you know the. I mean, the big thing though is is the. Are, I'm sorry. Are we calling it relive or relive? It's the radio. Relive, relive they, application. Yeah, that uh, is what how they say it is spoken. You know, which is essentially uh, AMD's like every couple of years, big software bump, and this one's you know kind of bringing them up to speed with the GeForce experience in terms of uh, capturing and streaming. Um, right. Because, it looks like it's pretty easy to use. Yeah, their solution to that before was in the form of an add-on like third-party software package that handled right. that capture stuff, which they kind of ditched a little while ago, and there was and there was kind of a gap there. But now they've rolled out their own solution, and um, looks like a way more elegant solution, right? Because uh, elegant's good. You know, it's 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 integrated with their. It, it is it is still technically an add-on package, um, in that if you don't want it installed like they don't really opt you into it like without choice when you install their driver it really is a thing where you have the option if you want to put that on your system if you're going to be doing that kind of stuff where you want to capture fine you can install that extra piece um but they make it it's even more elegant than that like in their driver if you didn't opt to install that in the past there is still a tab for that feature in their driver and if you go there it kind of prompts you and says hey you don't have this installed looks like you want to use it you want me to install it um and uh, you know, the elegance kind of extends into it's just that same kind of unified interface that they have in all of their control panel stuff, which actually to me looks like they're kind of surpassing NVIDIA on mm-hmm. like just how nice their their GUI looks for configuring uh, their driver. Um, you know, it's very responsive, that sort of thing. It's just like, looks cool, right? It looks, looks like, you know, done in a simple fashion and uh, making it easy for people to change settings and whatnot. Um but as far as like the the capture stuff itself, it's it's also looks pretty cool. Nice nice integration. It has a, a GUI that pops up based on a hotkey. Um, it's uh, since it's integrated with the driver, like it's it's very smooth. It doesn't really have an effect on the background performance, even when you have the overlay up. Um, mm-hmm. The I think the performance hit they were claiming was around four percent if you're doing capture, like of the thing you're trying right. to play, which is you're gonna see that even like on Nvidia, you're gonna see a similar kind of performance hit. Um, but it's good that they are that it is a relatively low performance hit, you know, just a couple frames per second, given you know whatever it is you're playing, right? Um, not bad for being able to do a a straight capture of your output um, to you know to your drive. Uh, all sorts of other support for like you know webcams, and if you're trying to do streaming, they support I think it was like six or seven different streaming services. Um, it was only a couple of the big ones in the U.S., but they're supporting streaming services worldwide. Right, so that's kind of region locked based on whoever it is you're trying to use right. for streaming. Um, but yeah, it's all just kind of there in one package for you to be able to, for you to be able to just you know use as a streamer and uh, have AMD hardware and just you know not have to worry about any extra third party stuff anymore. Just something that's it was all interesting. supported. Yeah, I was interesting because it also came out HDR10 support uh, and Dolby Vision support. Uh, come out with this release. Um, Radeon Chill, I thought was interesting too, where they're they're you know you turn on Chill and you have that significant like wattage consumption reduction. Yeah, it's it, it it's um it's reducing wattage based on reducing like the it's like frame rate limiting, but it's more dynamic 
than yeah. your typical frame rate limit. Like you can go into an, into an AMD or even in a video driver. You could say, I want my frame rate limited to X, you know, and you just pick a number and it'll always do that. But if you're trying to save power, which is kind of like while you, while you would do this, right, you would, you're trying to scale back how many frames per second your GPU is throwing out to your screen. But imagine if you were playing a game and when you were active in the game, you wanted your system, your frame rate higher. Um, but when you're just idling, like if you're playing one of those games like where you typically are just kind of sitting around in a room, it's just some kind of third-person game where there's a bunch of other parties in the space or whatever, but everybody's just kind of chatting and you're not actually doing anything and you're most of the time you're not even typing on your keyboard or anything, you know, and not moving your mouse. Um, this can actually dynamically, based on sensing that there is an idle period there, it can mm -hmm. scale back on your frames per second. So it'll pull back to, I think the minimum number it'll go to is about 40 frames per second. Um, right. which is probably their threshold of pain for if you go lower than this, you're going to start <laughs> noticing. Um, but, but 40, I mean, we watched this in our studio actually, and they had a <laughs> game where they were moving around versus standing still. And aside from just some stuff moving in the background and us being reviewers, kind of having a trained eye and what to exactly look for, like the average person probably wouldn't notice the difference. You know, you're not, you're not moving around. The scene's not really changing. Um, right. if it drops to 40 frames per second, still looks good. And Who in this cares? case, <laughs> yeah, and, and, but in, but in this case, consuming at like well, varies from game to game. But uh, one of their, you know, one of the cases was like thirty watts less power draw from the GPU, and potentially even you know, and maybe another dozen or two watts reduction from the CPU side because the CPU doesn't have to do all that work that it's doing for the higher frame rate, right? Because CPU in the game has to do work every time there's a new frame being presented. So if you slow the frame rate down, you kind of get power savings you know, throughout the system. Um, and this is kind of a thing that's meant more as a savings for like a internet cafe kind of deal, right? Like, sure. a, like a place where you have a bunch of systems in a tight space and they're kind of worried about power consumption of a bunch of people playing a bunch of games that are, you know, consuming a bunch of power. Um, right. But if you're, you know, it, it has other uses. Like if you're, if you're off grid, you know, you want to be a gamer and you're off grid and you're on solar or something like that. You, you knock 100 <laughs> watts of power draw off your system while you're just sitting there idling in a game. That's significant. That right? is significant. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. It's so good stuff. cool stuff. Yeah. I like it.